Hey Ron, what's going on? It's Noah. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to um, so you could hear some of uh, this what this filter's been doing. This is um, Maximus P. It's it's just like a little sandbox environment, kind of like a virtual modular. But anyway, uh, I ended up making this one element. You probably can't see here, but it's called Ron filter. And uh, so far, just has a couple of these buckets here where these are re-enter floating point values. This is for the low pass filter. This is for the high. They're actually just the low pass stage within it. There's the high pass. There's the feedback. And even though I haven't figured out how to make it do much yet, there's one for the all pass. So basically they're just controlling the filter and uh, got an oscillator over here. Um, this is a spectrogram, right? I'll start it up. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, so we can't hear it right now, but we're just uh, turning the uh, oscillator on and off with a little timer. And up here is the frequency. Right now we're at 31 hertz, super low. And it's a sort of triangle wave. Anyway, battery power is running low on this thing, so I'm just going to crank it up a little bit. We're going to turn up the low pass filter frequency a little bit until we can actually hear something. Let's see, we should be able to hear it now. Um, it's just because that's too low frequency. Okay, yeah, the amplitude's a little quiet too. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now we're at 132 hertz. I'm going to turn down the low pass a little bit. Whoop, too far. So there you can see the slope, and as we turn it up a little bit. Alright, now we'll try the other half of the circuit, which is the high pass. So, if, right now it's set to let everything through. So, if we go like this, oh, we've made it into a bandpass filter. And of course, it got quieter too because we're not letting so much through. So, let's crank up the feedback. And look at that. As we crank up the feedback, we have. Uh, We've created a little bit of a peak. This is a feedback of three and a half. So it's pretty severe. We can move the peak around a little bit by uh, changing either the low or the high. So we lowered it, but we lost some of our... So I'll tell you what, we can crank up the feedback a little bit. Now that peak is lower. Whoa! Sorry about that. We overdrove it. So we move that even lower. Sorry. Can't use as much feedback there. Um, make that a little bit lower, then we can lower the high a little bit. Now we got a very narrow band. I want to lower that even more though is the thing. So we're going to lower the feedback a bunch so we're safe. Bring the low pass way down, bring the high pass way down. Oh yeah, I hear that? There we go. Now it's very, very quiet, very low. I'm going to jack up the volume a little bit. Whoops. That was distorting. Now I'll jack up the feedback. Whoa! Okay, that was all distortion artifacts. Right, there's a thump I can hear now that is not uh, gonna come through on the recording. Kinda just means the filter is set way too low. Now we're changing frequencies. All right, getting some distortion. Okay. So 
sets the filter set at about 300 hertz. <laughs> ah, six hertz input. All right, that's a that's enough for now. There's still some more that I want to show you, but I'm afraid for this uh, afraid for this battery life. Actually, I don't want to mess up the end of the file. So, all right, hope you enjoyed this. See ya.